Deepa was just three years old when the Bhutan-Nepal Joint Verification Team declared her a criminal. Today she is studying in Grade 1 in the Kudunabari refugee camp in eastern Nepal. Like Deepa, there are, in the camps, several thousand children whose parents and grandparents were forcibly exiled from Bhutan. लापरवाही तराले त्यहाँ का मानसिक माथि अन्य अत्याचार होते जा रहे यहाँ सम्म कि जनगणना को पक्षपाती का कारण एक जन महिला ले आत्महत्या पनी गरीन अरे भरे को खबर मौका आई शक्ति पर सी ये उड़ा जन प्रतिनिधि भाई को नाताले में जरा आजाला एप्पल करे कि राजा तालो अन्य होते जा रहे इसके बीच में स्थान बिना राजा दक्षिण बुटान गए को जो छानबीन को लाई गए को बनने थे वो तो हम मुझे चाल पाए ना आरे का एक मलाई एरेस्ट करने वो एरेस्ट कर रहा मलाई जेल में रखे करा कौशल है बेटा मैं दिनों भाई ना तीस पसी जेल बड़ा मलाई ग्रह मंत्रालय में बोला है ये वाला अकरना में लियो कि मो आजीवन तीन जने बंदा बॉडी तेज पची फिर क्या बनियों बने चौबीस घंटा मत मिले अब राजधानी छोड़ने पर सा तीन राजधानी पहुंचने पाऊं दो ना। As ordered, Rizal left Timpu and went to his hometown, Gilifu. Gilifu में मुझे मजा आ गया और बॉस ने खोजे त्यां निरंतर मेरा पची मान चला गया ये को इस तो भाई कि कुने टाइम में मैं एरेस्ट होने कुने टाइम में मारीने संघ भाई को उनाले करता है Rizal, along with his colleagues, launched the People's Forum for Human Rights. Soon, the government began to arrest the members of the People's Forum inside Bhutan. On 3rd November 1989, I was arrested from Chuka district and taken to Thimpu. The following day, I was taken to Samji to be interrogated by the Royal Investigation Commission. I was again sent back to Thimpu and detained until February 1990. During the time, several PFHR members were arrested. Uh, they were mostly college students, teachers, intellectuals and local leaders. Man Bahadur Chetri, a student of the National Institute of Education in Samchi, was arrested and tortured to death. From the same institute, Ratan Gazmir, head of the botany department, was arrested by the chief of the Royal Bhutan Police, taken to Timpu, tortured and imprisoned. Next, the King of Bhutan requested the King of Nepal to arrest and extradite Rizal and other activists living underground in Nepal. On 16th October 1989, Rizal, Jogan and Sushil were arrested by the Nepal police in Birtamod, taken to Kathmandu and extradited to Bhutan on a chartered aircraft. After Mr. Rizal's extradition, I was elected to lead PAPHR as vice chairman. Since the situation in Nepal was not safe for us, I, along with my other executive members left for India and we base ourselves in Garganda in India. On 6th February 1990, a seven-point memorandum was sent to the King of Bhutan. When we did not get his response, a reminder letter was sent on 27th of March 1990. When the King repeatedly ignored the appeals sent by the People's Forum, R. K. Budatoki established the Bhutan People's Party and launched the democracy movement in Bhutan. The king, resisting change, imposed army rule, leading to blatant human rights violations in the country. <laughs> सार्जन आये रे इज्जत बूते हो गए और लम्बी लम्बी समाचार बायर निकाला रे मलाई इज्जत बूते हो बाहर लाया लम्बी लम्बी 
अनि समातेर इज्जत लिएर अनि घर चार जना अनि त्यस पछाडी सात जना आयो सात जना आएर इज्जत लिएर गर मलाई म दिवस भए थाहा छ भुटान आर्मी पुलिसले इन्डो भुटान बाउन्ड्री दादघारी बाट मलाई एरेस्ट गरेर सिधा लोदराइ जेलमा लिएर गयो लगेर खुट्टामा नेल लगायो हात पिछाडी फर्काएर हातकडी लगायो त्यहाँदेखि यातना सुरु भयो यातना चाहिँ जस्तै खुट्टामा पैतालामा बेतले हान्ने बेतले हान्ने त्यहाँबाट यहाँ चेपुवा लगाउने चेपुवा लगाएर त्यतिकै नभएर मान्छे चढेर त्यसलाई अझ खुट्टा चुँगेला जस्तो गरेर उफ्रिने त्यहाँबाट नली खुट्टामाथि मुढा राखेर मान्छे चढेर पेल्ने जस्तो विभिन्न किसिमको यातना दियो जसको नाइके चाहिँ पुलिसको मेजर दासु किप्चु आर्मीको मेजर दासु सोनाम छिरिङ पुलिसकै मेजर उगे सोनाम नौ बजे राति म खाना खानलाई लोटा टिपेको थिएँ सातजना आर्मी गएर पसे सातजना आर्मी पसेर चाहिँ सङ्गीन यहाँ राखेर त्यहाँबाट मलाई एरेस्ट गरेर गोसी लगे गोसी लगेपछि भनेको मलाई त्यो गोसीमा झेल बनाएको थियो त्यो झेलमा लगेर राखे त्यसको छुट्टै काम्रो बनाएर मलाई त्यहाँ छुट्टै राखे र त्यसको पछाडि तेरो बाबुलाई जसरी गोसीको धर्मराज मण्डल मारियो छ त्यसरी नै तेरो बाबु त्यस्तै हुन्छ र देश छोड्ने फारम भराउनु पर्छ र मात्रै तेरो बाबु निक्लिन्छ भनेर मेरो परिवारलाई फारम भराइयो म त्यस पछाडि म झेलबाट मुक्त भएँ त्यहाँदेखि पछाडि बुलुक खिबेसा बुलुकका तिन सौ सत्तरी घर जनता थिए ती जनताहरूलाई पनि त्यसरी नै देशबाट फर्म भराएर निकालियो Rati was but a child when she first arrived in Beldangi refugee camp. By now, she has spun several thousand yards of thread, while several rounds of Bhutan-Nepal bilateral talks have been held without any positive outcome. Nevertheless, both young and old continued to cling to the hope that one fine day they will return to their cherished homes and farms in Bhutan. So, despite hardship in the camps, the people continued to live life to the fullest that their difficult circumstances allowed. <laughs> Deprived of land and property, many started to learn new skills for earning. But with the passage of time, hope began to crumble, donor fatigue set in, challenging the basics such as shelter, food, health and education. With the background of this deteriorating camp situation, the camp inmates and activists launched an appeal movement. On 7th September 1995, Appeal Movement Coordinating Council was established 
to work for the restoration of human rights and early repartition of Bhutanese refugees. In the first phase, we sent our written appeal to the King of Bhutan and launched international campaign. We received very encouraging response from several governments. When the first phase lapsed, we started the peace march to Bhutan. During the time, we received a tremendous support from the people of Nepal, people of India, diplomatic missions and our international supporters. However, when the peace march entered Bhutan, the royal government of Bhutan mobilized its army and crushed the appeal movement. Concerned at the plight of the refugees, the European Parliament adopted a resolution calling on the government of Bhutan to make practical preparation for the return of refugees and to safeguard the rights of minorities in its territory. In exile, under the chairmanship of Rong Tong Kernley Dorji, the United Front for Democracy in Bhutan was established. The King, instead of addressing the political crisis, started to devise methods of suppressing the movement. He then requested the government of India to extradite Rong Tong, who was, at that time, in New Delhi. Rong Tong was arrested and detained in Tihar jail. Under city bail, Rong Tong continues to remain confined in New Delhi, the capital of India. In the absence of Rong Tong, Tinli Penjor was elected as the acting chairman of the United Front for Democracy. Meanwhile, religious persecution heightened in eastern Bhutan. <laughs> In 1997, thousands of Shachos came to the street demanding religious freedom and reopening of Nyingmapa institutions. But the government violently repressed the movement. Gomchen Karma, a Nyingmapa monk, was shot and killed by Zongdal Hapadorji. And Kembotinle Vizir, chief abbot of one of the institutions, was arrested, tortured and imprisoned. Soon, the exodus of Nyingmapa monks and their families from eastern Bhutan started, with them ending up in Nepal. Each passing day, the political and refugee problems are getting more and more complex, and the bilateral dialogue remains deadlocked. In 1992, King Jigme Singhe Wangchuk declared in the parliament that he would abdicate the throne if he did not solve the problem within three years. Nonetheless, he continued to rule far beyond the three-year deadline without solving the problem, and only on 15th December 2006 did he abdicate, handing over his responsibilities to his son. Sonam Dema in Timpu believes that, and I quote, Bhutan will see unparalleled changes in all spheres of life, with a young king and a fast-growing educated population replacing the old. Similarly, Dr. Dhakal is optimistic. Our country is facing political problem as well as the humanitarian refugee problem. And he has made a statement in the academia that he is very determined to solve it and uh, during his tenure, we would like to uh, see the country progress in overall development and solving the problem once for all. However, the way in which the new king's minister has made a public statement in regard to the political and refugee problems, the signals are not very positive. The statement given by the foreign minister of Bhutan, Khan Duwangchuk, is very obnoxious. Labeling the peaceful democratic movement and human rights movement as a radical and terrorist movement, government of Bhutan is trying to act as 
all wrongdoings. If the government of Bhutan continues its uh, stubborn position, it may lead the nation to a uh, disastrous consequences. Still, no one knows how the new king plans to address the ongoing political and refugee problems. In Timpu, he is actively seen talking to children, sharing his vision. In stark contrast, the children in the camps in Nepal, weary of their abnormal lifestyle, are yearning to be rescued urgently. लामो समय सम्म असामान्य परिस्थितिमा शरणार्थी शिविरमा बस्नु परिरहेकोले गर्दा र शैक्षिक वातावरण पनि दिनानुदिन खस्किँदै गइरहेको प्रशासनिक क्षेत्र पनि चलाउन गाह्रो परिरहेको अवस्थामा शरणार्थी समस्या चाँडो भन्दा चाँडो समाधान भइदिए अन्धकारमय भविष्यबाट यी हाम्रा बालबालिकाहरुको उज्यालो तर्फ दोर्याउन सक्ने थियौ 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight. The uncertain future and not finding a solution in spite of the many years has really depressed them and their frustration is very high. The earlier that we find a solution for the Bhutanese refugees living in the camps, better will be the future of this youth and definitely this youth will be able to use their energy for the constructive purpose rather than for destructive purposes. The current crisis in Bhutan began in 1988 and now, as 2008 approaches, there is still no solution in sight. Due to the prolongation of this problem, revolutionary ideas began to enter the minds of exiled youths, resulting in the formation of a communist party of Bhutan.